Reaper, we keep it rough. We keep it raw. We keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper because I'm doing good things here at Reaper. Um, 5150 chat room goons don't like precise. The 5150 chat room goons have spoken. You know, they want Corey to uh, get rid of precise. And they think precise is bringing the show down. And Corey refuses to get rid of precise. Um, precise is not a comedian. This is what the Reaper said. I don't have anything against him. But he's not a comedian. And, you know, he's on the show for popularity just like anybody would be. But, you know, um, is he funny? No, he's really not that funny. But I think he's funnier than Marcus. I mean, Marcus is not funny at all. And Corey's got him on the show. But why does Corey have these people on the show uh, that's not funny? And you guys want to see, you know, um, some of the old guys come back. Or you guys want to see different people on the show that's comedians or whatever that can enhance the show. Well, this is what everybody's not saying. Marcus and Corey, I mean, Precise and uh, Marcus don't cost nothing. These other people cost something. You know, even Darlene OG Ortiz would not be on the show that long if her hand wasn't getting greased. The Reaper keep it 1,000. And this is what Bobby Glanton Smith had a problem with because, you know, Bobby wanted to be compensated for his knowledge and his input on the show. And Corey did not want to compensate Bobby for his, you know, input on the show. The Reaper keep it 1,000. So, um, this is why Corey have these guys on the show. You know, I mean, there's no, you know, competition with him with these guys on the show. Far as Zoe was a smart, knowledgeable guy that brought things to the show that people did not bring. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. Uh, Grady was a comedian, you know. Uh, he had better snaps on Corey than Corey had on him when he was on the show. Uh, Ryan is a comedian, you know. So they bring elements to the show. As you saw last week, Craig is a rapper. Craig is very talented, a comedian, funny guy. Even the guys around him is funny. But Craig's got his own show. And Freeze Love has got his own show. But there is no competition, you know, to Corey, you know, I mean, so, and then these guys are cheap, you know, and that's what it is, you know, they can be on the show every week and they don't cost anything, you know, um, other people are going to want to be compensated for what they bring to the show, and Corey don't want to pay nobody. Only only person that's getting paid is Darlene or GOTs is because she handled the things with the t-shirts and the behind the scene things. And then she's been on the show and she's been with Corey for a while. But anybody else, Corey is not dibbing out no cash for. You know, I mean, some of those guys behind the scenes that set up the show may get paid or whatever. But Corey is not giving out any money to anyone, you know. Uh, behind the scenes the reaper keep it 1000 so I mean he's giving out money to the people behind the scenes but not like Marcus or precise so you guys can not like these guys much as you uh, want to but they're going to be on the show you know I mean the people behind the camera you know that's setting up the stuff they get paid he may grease them a little bit he's greasing Darlene but you know but precise and Marcus are not getting paid they're just happy to be on the show you know, but what I will say about Precise is when he's got an opinion, he sticks to it. That's one thing I like about him. He's not Corey's, you know, ass kissing guy up there like people think, you know, because when he have an opinion like he had about Charlemagne the God and a couple other things I don't saw him have an opinion about. He'll stick to it whether Corey wants him to go against it or not. But Marcus is more of the yes man. And I say Marcus is the security guard and just happy to be there or whatever. But the main reason that these two guys is still up there on the show and you're going to continue to see them up there on the show unless something happens 
that the Reaper ain't heard about, that the Reaper don't know about. I heard that this Gooch the Great, I don't know who he is. I heard he was talking greasy about Precise, allegedly. I haven't saw anything on it, but this is what I'm saying. This is what I heard, that somebody texts me or whatever. So I'm not going to speak on it because I haven't heard and researched it or whatever that he was talking greasy. But these two men are cheap. These two men are, you know, uh, he don't have to pay them anything and they'll show up every week. Somebody that's showing up every week that's got some talent or whatever, they're going to want their own show like Craig. Craig and his man, Dewan, they're going to stick together on Craig's show or whatever, you know. Um, or, or, and there's a lot of people that just don't want to deal with Corey, too, the way he done ran that show. You guys got to remember that. So a lot of comedians will come on for popularity. They say, oh, no, Corey Holcomb, that 5150 show is controversial. You know, he be acting a fool on there. He don't respect nobody. So, you know, uh, I don't want to do that. I'll do something else. You know, there's a bunch of Internet shows out there, even though he got almost a couple hundred grand, you know, followers or whatever. So he's having a hard time just getting somebody to come on there that's just for the popularity. And, you know, these guys are free and cheap and they show up every week. Reaper, uh, we keep it rough, we keep it raw, we keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper because I'm doing good things here at Reaper. Reaper out. Peace.